What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this awesome setup on your iOS device. So we're going to be using a few tricks, some of which you probably already know, and we're going to be customizing the wallpaper so that you can get this awesome look and feel on your home screen, and you do not need a jailbreak for this, and it works on iOS 12. So, let's get started. Now I do just want to mention that I am incredibly exhausted while making this video. I was just going to push it off till tomorrow, but I decided to make it today. But that means that I'm not going to be editing it as much. So I'm going to be kind of lazy with this video. I'm just letting you guys know if I edit and make any mistakes, that's why. So first thing you guys are going to want is this application. It's called Quickly. It's basically an app that allows you to add custom applications to your home screen and it adds it through a 3D shortcut. You're also going to want to put your most used applications inside of folders and you're going to put your most used ones inside of those. So you're also going to want to check out some really cool wallpapers. I'll try to link them down below in the description so you guys can go and check them out. I recommend using some really nice ones just so you can get that awesome look on your home screen. So once you find the wallpaper you want, this is where pretty much everything comes together. So you're gonna to wanna to go inside of the Photos app inside of your iPhone and tap on Markup. So from here, you can go ahead and create a custom box. You can add text, you can change the color of the text, you can change the color of the box, you can fill the box. There's so much you can do. The possibilities are endless. So this example I'm making right now actually isn't my personal favorite. I kind of ended up scrapping this halfway through the video and you will see that later on, but the same concept still lies. But what's really cool is if you put a red bar at the bottom and it maybe matches the color of the text, you get this really cool effect where the dock is a color and it matches the color of the apps on your home screen. So You'll understand what I mean by this sort of towards the end of the video, but it looks really cool. Next, you're going to want this application for your iOS device. There are some paid features, but you're going to want to go ahead and take that image that you just made, and you're going to want to make sure you size it properly for your iOS device. You can do that by on the little slider. You can just adjust it. And then what you're going to want to do is tap on next. So once you've done that, tap on next again, and then you can go ahead and add a custom widget. So I really love these because there are just a few to choose from. You can choose the background. They just look very iOS-like. Like if Apple, if Apple were to allow widgets on the home screen, it would be these. So they're very cool. Some of them are paid. You're going to have to pay money for like the night mode one, but I like using the transparent one. It's pretty cool. I think it's free. I'm not hundred percent sure, but you can go ahead and mess around with the little slider at the bottom. You can also readjust where the widget is. Next, you're going to want to set it as your wallpaper on your iOS device. Now you can do that by taking a screenshot. And then once you've taken that screenshot, you want to make sure that there's an empty page. So don't take a screenshot of a page full of apps. Take a screenshot of a page with nothing on that. You can do that just by holding down the applications and scrolling to the first page or the last page. Now you're going to want to go to this website. You're going to want to upload this photo. It's the screenshot you just took. And what we're going to be doing is this is going to allow for you to have custom app icons. You can rearrange your apps where if you want. It takes certain pieces of the home screen and puts it into an app icon. You can rearrange those app icons. So that way you can have a customized personal layout for your applications. I kind of described that really fast, but it's very intuitive. I'm sure you guys are used to it. You just tap on an icon and that is the icon it will replace on your home screen and you can act as a you can have it act as a spacer. So, I really like that. Next what you're going to want to do is you can just rearrange them on your home screen. What's really cool is there is a character that it adds when you install it on your home screen. Make sure you save that character and you can actually use that inside of a folder and then you can have a nameless folder. I will link that down below as well just so that way you can have easy access or you can save the little character that happens when you add it to your home screen. <clears throat> uh, also on top of that, you're going to want to rearrange your applications. This is going to take forever. And then on top of that, you're going to want to add them as folders at the bottom. You're going to want to add this quickly application as well. So that way you can have music, messages, and other cool applications like that accessible on the dock. And you're going to have your most used applications as well inside of the folders. So yeah, th this video is kind of rushed. I do apologize. I really wanted to upload today. But on top of that, hopefully you guys do take advantage of these tricks. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.